Achievements of Rosalind Franklin. Franklin was born on the 25th of July, 1920, in 50 Chepstow Villas, Notting Hill, London, into an affluent and influential British Jewish family. Franklin went to Newnham College, Cambridge in 1938 and studied chemistry within the Natural Science Tripos. With six distinctions, she passed her matriculation in 1938, winning a scholarship for university, the school leaving exhibition of 30 pounds a year for three years and five pounds from her grandfather. In 1941, she was awarded second-class honors from her final exams. Resigning from Norrish's lab, she fulfilled the requirements of the National Service Acts by working as an assistant research officer at the British Coal Utilization Research Association in 1942. The physical chemistry of solid organic colloids with special reference to coal, for which the University of Cambridge awarded her a PhD in 1945. Cambridge began awarding titular BA and MA degrees to women from 1947, and the previous women graduates retroactively received these. She joined the labo as referred to by the staff of Maring on the 14th of February 1947 as one of the 15 chercheurs researchers. Maring was an X-ray crystallographer who applied X-ray diffraction to the study of rayon and other amorphous substances, in contrast to the thousands of regular crystals that had been studied by this method for many years. In 1950, Franklin was granted a three-year Turner and Newall Fellowship to work at King's College London. In January 1951, she started working as a research associate in the Medical Research Council's MRC Biophysics Unit, directed by John Randall. In February 1953, James Watson and Francis Crick of the Cavendish Laboratory in Cambridge University had started to build a molecular model of the B form of DNA using data like that available to both teams at King's. In 1955, Franklin published her first major works on TMV in Nature, in which she described that all TMV virus particles were of the same length. There is no doubt that Franklin's experimental data were used by Crick and Watson to build their model of DNA in 1953.